everyone. Welcome to my Tuesday Night Live class. It is Tuesday, December 20th. We got to bring out Santa hat tonight. This is my last live before Christmas, so we got to show up here, right? I got my Christmas sweatshirt on. It's a good day. <laughs> the tree's plugged in over there. Yeah, we're having some fun today. So as you join me, whether you are watching live or the replay, please comment, say hello. Let me know if, where you are watching from. And we've got a lot of fun stuff going on tonight. So tonight is my last live video of 2022. Um, next week, I'm going to take the week off. I'll still be working a little bit, checking in here and there, but I'm going to largely take next week off. So spend it with um, my family and some friends uh, because I have most of next week off from my day job. Not every day, but most of them. <laughs> um, hey, Lori, welcome. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead. I've got so many things to share with you. So we're just going to like go straight into it. Okay. All right. I'm going to switch my camera view here. You can see my desktop. I have so many cards to share with you guys this week. So let's get started here. Okay. All right. This first one is from Gloria Davis. It is a belated birthday. Hi, Lisa. Oh my gosh. You're li here live. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Keisha. Hi, mom. And my mom said, ho, ho, ho. Um, if you missed the beginning of the video, that is how I started it. <laughs> have to pull out the Santa hat today. So this one, um, anyway, this card is beautiful. I believe she um, used colored pencils to draw this beautiful flower. So that's really pretty. Oh, my screen just blacked for a second, but it looks like it's back now. Sorry about that. That was weird. Um, so beautiful card. Thank you, Gloria. This next one here, got them all in a bin. This next one is from Amy Carter, and I love this layout. Uh, so pretty. I love how she did this card with the little strips of the DSP back there too. So cute. Love that one. This next one is from Mary Boltman. And I do have to just put a disclaimer. Um, Mary had a little hot chocolate pouch in here and it got a little bit, uh, <laughs> it was angry to be confined in the mail. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> so there was some hot chocolate in here as well, but this is a cute little calendar for 2023. So that was really fun to receive. Thank you, Mary. This next one is from Cher Whitbeck. Of course, I have to show you the envelope is decorated too. Um, and this one is so adorable as well. So this is using that frosted gingerbread set that we actually had last year. And I loved this paper. This set was so fun. So thank you, Cher. This next one, I can't believe how many I got this past week. This is crazy. This next one is from Robin Deeker. Of course, using that adorable Scotty dog. Oh, so cute. And she added the cute little bow there too. Hey, Alicia, welcome. Um, and the pink, she of course had to make it pink, <laughs> which I love. Okay, so then, hold on, is this the one? Yes, okay, so I, I got double cards from Alicia last week. This one came in the mail. Yeah, oh my gosh, I read it. I was like, wait, is this not from Alicia? And then, because I saw my own name, but I was reading upside down, so that's my excuse. <laughs> This one is gorgeous using the sweet gingerbread with the puff paint. She die or not die cut, fussy cut out the vellum snowflake. Gorgeous. So thank you, Alicia, for this one. I'm going to show you the other card she gave me too in just a second. This next one is from Rita. Rita, I'm going to butcher your name. Dushel. D-U-S-C-H-L. Dushel. Dushel. I don't know. But this one is from Rita. Gorgeous with the um, silver snowflakes here. Absolutely beautiful card there. This next one is from Kathy um, Bottrell. Bottrell? Kathy, if you're watching, sorry if I butchered any names here, okay? <laughs> Using the adorable gnomes. How cute is this one too? And some gold on the sentiment there. Um, very beautiful. I love that one. Okay, now we're going to get into some gifts. So let me start here. So this one is from, hold on, I wanted to make sure her name wasn't on it. So this one is from Deborah Fraunfelter. Beautiful decorated card here. So Deborah sent me this beautiful, aren't they so cute? I love these. You guys are so sweet to send me little cards and gifts. And it's just like, ugh, it makes my heart so happy. So, um, and I have to tell you, so Deborah sent me a little package and it came from UPS. And I just recently downloaded the UPS app because on Saturday night, they dropped off packages at seven o'clock. Well, they didn't ring the doorbell. 
and they sat outside all night long. So I was like, that's it. I'm getting the app. And you know, the minute, the second it's dropped off, it'll tell me. And it kept saying, I'm getting something from the UPS store. And I was like, what the heck did I order? <laughs> I can't figure it out. Well, it was from Deborah. So, <laughs> um, so Deborah sent me this beautiful card and she used the beautiful like pearl enamel effects on there. I think that's what it's called. And then she also sent me this cute box and I did open it, but I had to retie the bow because I thought it was cute. But look at those gnomies on there. Isn't that adorable? And then inside she made me a bunch of Christmas cookies. So I'm not going to open it because um, I tied the bow real cute and I don't want to have to retie it on camera because that never goes well. But that was super sweet. And actually, Deborah, if you're watching, I'm hosting friends tomorrow night. And I needed like a variety of cookies for a platter. So I'm so happy that that came in perfect timing because now I have some. Isn't the box cool? My mom said, check the bottom. I want to see where it's from. <laughs> There's no sticker on the bottom. Sorry, mom. All right. And then this next one is my second card from Alicia. A beautiful envelope and a beautiful card here. So, and it slips out like this, just like we were doing last week. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. I love it. And then Alicia sent me. And the antlers fell off. So I do apologize, Alicia, but these antlers fell off um, after, you know, I was opening them. So <laughs> um, a cute little Santa Claus and a reindeer. And these have Hershey Kisses inside. How stinking cute with the gnome for Santa. Like that is clever and so, so cute. And then Alicia also sent me this beautiful sign. How pretty is this? So this is going to go, I'm going to hang this right on my craft room door as soon as Christmas is over and I take my wreath down. That's going right up on my craft room door. And then of course, I dropped one. Of course, some Reese's trees. <laughs> so thank you so much, everyone, for some sweet cards. I can't wait to get these hung up and displayed. I've been waiting all week long to show you so that I could display them um, because they're just so beautiful. And you guys really, I know you take a lot of time and effort to get them sent to me and I really do appreciate it. So thank you so much for sending me cards. Um, I love them and I keep them all. So know that like they'll be kept, right? I think we had that discussion a few weeks ago about like, do you send cards that are a little bit not your favorite to like people you think will throw them away? I will not throw them away. <laughs> All right, so let's get started here with this week's class. This is, because this is the last live video of 2022, this is also my last class of 2022. Don't worry, we're still gonna be doing classes in 2023, um, but this is it for 2022. And we're going back to the annual catalog, page 100 for this beautiful Lighthouse Point Bundle. It is a photopolymer stamp set with some really cool matching dies here. So there's two sheets of dies super fun to play with. And I'm going to show you some card samples and then also the cards we're making today. So let's take a look at these. So this card I shared on my blog yesterday on Monday. Um, I think that's so cute. So much thanks. How sweet is this? And I actually paired it with the um, Rays of Light background stamp from the annual catalog as well. So this one was really fun and I really love the die cuts. So I had to go all out and play with those um, and tie those in here along with the basic border dies. I know that this is like a cloud border, but I thought it looked perfect for a C, like kind of like waves. So that one was super fun. And then this card I shared today, and this one I actually, here it is, I cased the catalog. So I made it a little tiny bit different, but I actually cased the catalog right there, that card. Um, and I thought it turned out so fun for this week's Create and Color Challenge as well. So this one, I just love it. I, I think it's so cute, so masculine, right? This one is going to be a great to send to a guy. And it says, without you, I would be lost. How fun is that? So those are those extra cards. We're going to get started on the three cards. Um, yes, I agree. So Keisha says she loves the ray of the rays of light. Oh, I don't need that yet. Um, the rays of light stamp set because it adds a lot to the card. And that's this you know, Daffodil Delight piece here. I agree. And then I used my Stamparatus with it. So it makes it really easy if you don't stamp it well, because it's a background stamp, you can go right back in and do that. Um, I, oh, thank you guys so much. And I love this bundle too. It is so fun. I'm so excited to get my hands on it for this week's cards. I thought, you know what? We can't do Christmas anymore, right? So we're going to go back to this set because I hadn't done a class with it yet and I needed to. So if you would like this week's class, um, before we get started, I'll just explain here. Let me switch back to just me for a second. If you would like this week's class, um, you'll just place an order in my online store through this Friday, December 23rd at the end of the day. Um, you can head to shop.stampwithmelissa.com. That'll take you right to my online store. You order whatever you want. So you can order 
Alicia just said she doesn't have this bundle. What? <laughs> um, all right. I know what Alicia's adding to her cart. And I bet Alicia's adding that to her cart too. But we won't talk about that yet. Because that might be a demonstrator exclusive right there. And I know Alicia was wanting it, but didn't buy it last time. <laughs> um, anyway, so if you can order whatever you want. So if you don't have the bundle like Alicia or the Rays of Light stamp set to try out that card, or et cetera, et cetera. You can order those, you know, the inks, whatever. If you do already have it all, you can buy whatever else is on your wish list that you've been waiting for. Um, if you spend $35 before tax and shipping, you'll get six card kits. That's two each of the three cards we're doing tonight. If you spend $50, you will get the six card kits and you'll also get a quarter pack of the, let me find it in the annual catalog because I, oh, I do have mine. Hold on. Sometimes I forget the things are right behind me. <laughs> um, you get a quarter pack of the lovely in linen designer series paper. We are using this on all of our cards. And this week, just so you guys know, usually I cut your designer series paper for you. This week, I am not cutting your paper for you. So you will either want to make sure that you add this to your $35 order, or you'll want to order at the $50 level to get the quarter pack for free. Okay. So you will have to cut your own designer series paper this week. Otherwise, I will still do the cardstock and all of the die cuts that are not part of the bundle. I never die cut for you any of these pieces because these are our featured bundle this week. You have to die cut those on your own. Um, but for example, on our very first card, we've got some stylish shapes dies and I will die cut those for you. So. Okay, so, all right, Alicia added a newer card. That's good. <laughs> um, you need rays of light, Alicia. It's amazing. Okay, so, yeah, Alicia, <laughs> Merry Christmas to you, right? <laughs> uh, thanks, Rita. Oh, I just showed your card, too. I don't know if you were on for that, but replay is always available, too. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to get started making this week's cards. And let me flip here. Beautiful. Here's card number one. So this, all of the pattern paper you're going to see is that lovely and linen designer series paper. Oh, uh, I just, you know what? I was finishing up some cards for my club. And speaking of club, um, today is actually the last day to subscribe and get my December club create. Um, yeah, no peer pressure. <laughs> uh, always peer pressure, right? Whoops. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, today's the last day you can sign up and get my club create for this month. Um, which I did a video on that that actually went on my YouTube channel on Saturday. So if you need more information, check that video out and then send me an email if you have any questions. Um, and this month we are using the Lovely and Lasting Bundle, which is the bundle in the suite that uses this paper. So the Lovely and Linen Suite. And it is just absolutely gorgeous. Hands down, this designer series paper is my favorite pattern paper we have ever had. Period, point blank, 100% my favorite. Just saying, because you can do so many cool masculine things with it. And then you can do so many cool feminine things with it. And you can do so many cool all occasions things with it. So yeah, very, very neat. Okay. Let me talk about what's in this card kit. Get off my soapbox and <laughs> all right. So you will have a Knight of Navy card base, a Knight of Navy layer, a Knight of Navy strip. You'll have, of course, this stylish shape um, square. You can see there it's die cut out. You'll also have a stylish shape banner, which is die cut out. And I know right now these stylish shape um, dies are not available. Um, whenever they come back in stock, they sell out really quick. So if you are wanting these, if these are on your wish list, you want to watch my online store and get them when you can, okay? Um, if you are like, Melissa, I can't do that, send me an email. I'll watch for you, okay? <laughs> um, and then you'll also need to cut your designer series paper. When you order this week's class, you'll get a PDF that has all of the measurements for all of the pieces in case you want to make more cards. It will also have the measurement of the DSP, which you will cut on your own, okay? That way, if you want to change up the pattern, you absolutely can. All right, let's grab our Sahara Sand ink pad and our beautiful little lighthouse here. Now, on my sample card, my lighthouse is a little bit darker than I want. My Sahara Sand ink, for whatever reason, is very juicy. It just, like, always has been. I don't, I honestly don't use it very often, and it's just so juicy. So this time I stamped off and then stamped on, okay? You do not have to stamp off if your um, Sahara Sand is uh, the normal color but if yours is extra juicy like mine go ahead and stamp it off okay all right so then let's grab our knight of navy ink and then we've got this fun little staggered little stripe piece here for our um, lighthouse and we are going to i've got to stick my santa hat over this okay 
It's a nice thing about it being photopolymers. You can see right through it to get it stamped perfectly or almost perfectly. Okay, so we've got that. Real quick, we'll bring in our little banner piece here so we can do our sentiment. And I am using sending you love and light. How sweet is that? And all occasion for this too, right? You could send this for so many different reasons. Just because, whatever, you know, sympathy, thinking of you, etc. All right, so we've got those. Then let's go ahead and grab our little light for our lighthouse and Daffodil Delight ink. Of course, we have to use Daffodil Delight for our light, right? Right? You guys catching on? <laughs> and we are going to stamp that down here. So cute. All right. Close that up. I think that's all I need Daffodil for, so I'm going to put that away. Pull that out of the way here, and let's go ahead and assemble. So we are going to start with our designer series paper, add some seal to the back, like, think of this card in this colorway, right? With the sweet sorbet. It's just, you can, uh, I just, this this set, I think I'm going to have to, like, play around with these layouts next week um, on my break. And seriously, I'm just going to have to play and do so much magic with them. Like, make these same exact cards, but in different colors. I just, it has to happen. <laughs> All right, I added a line of liquid glue there just so I can sneak my little Knight of Navy strip on here and I am lining it up so it meets at the top of the designer series paper. I totally squished out some um, glue so I'm just going to run my finger along there and of course now I'm going to be sticky so later when things start sticking to me we know why okay okay. <laughs> All right trim off the end of the night of navy and move this out of the way here. Okay so then we'll go ahead add some seal to the back lay this onto our card front and fold and burnish. All right, we've got that. And then let's go ahead and add this next. And look at this. We almost need a whole new, I thought I had an extra dimensional here. We almost need a whole new sheet of dimensionals, but we're going to make it through this card class without a whole new sheet. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'll just cut these as we need them, but I'm gonna place one in every corner. If you run out of dimensionals and you don't cut your um, side pieces, do it because those are dimensionals too. And it's actually really nice because you can make them whatever size you want when you cut them. So very nice little tip if you don't already do that. Okay, so let's stick this down closer to the left-hand side here. So it's pretty much centered, but just scooched over a little bit, okay? Then I'm going to take my seal and add that. You will also have a piece of linen thread or rather two pieces for your two cards um, in your kit. So you can go ahead and make a Fobo. So you can see I lined up the ends here, looped my finger in and stuck that down on the seal. And then I'm just gonna wrap these around to make a little bow. It looks like a bow, but nobody will know that it's not knotted. <laughs> I uh, hope you guys appreciate all my jokes today because that is just how things go. Okay, taking this little dimensional here, I'm going to stick it right over my linen thread. The linen thread is not super, super thick. Um, I agree, Lori. Lori said, Night of Navy is such a sharp color. I do agree. And I love um, Starry Sky, which is right here. But it is like a, oh, sorry. It is like a lighter blue. And I just have always loved Night of Navy. So... All right, I added some seal to the left-hand side because that's gonna lay on our little piece here. And then this side stuck on our dimensional, which we already stuck down. And then I'm gonna finish this off with some iridescent pearls. Um, this week, you will also wanna um, provide your own embellishments because your extra little gift is the paper. Um, thanks, Lisa. Yeah, I love doing Phobos. <laughs> it's kind of like a test. If you ever get a card from me, you have to figure out if it's a Phobo or a real bow. <laughs> All right. So there's card number one. How cute is that? And then I'll pick up this one too. So you can see the difference there in the lighthouse. So this one is full strength. This one is stamped off in person. I like stamped off better. What I can see here in the video, this one looks better. So just know in like real life, I like this one a little bit more. So I just think my Sahara sand is so dark. So, all right. So there's card number one. Oh, thank you guys so much. Let's go to card number two. And I think I picked card. This card is my favorite this week, um, but I change my mind all the time. So you'll have to ask me again tomorrow. <laughs> uh, as of right now, this one is my favorite card number two. 
Oh, I just love it. It's so, so sweet. Now, there are no birthday sentiments in this stamp set. If you'd like to swap out a sentiment for birthday, these would be perfect cards. So, okay. Even if you don't live on like a coast, like I have no lighthouses near me unless I drive two hours north to Duluth. And um, at least I don't think I have any lighthouses near me, but I still love this set. So, <laughs> all right. We've got a soft succulent card base, a soft succulent layer that is embossed with the Into the Clouds embossing folder. There you go. Now you can get a good picture of that stunner right there. Um, you'll again need to cut your designer series paper. Here's this side, a soft succulent side. There's that side. Beautiful. Matches the embossing folder in this lovely and linen suite. Um, beautiful, beautiful paper. So that will be in the PDF as well. Hey, Don, welcome. You'll have a white, basic white circle. This is die cut using the layering, layering circle dies, excuse me. A strip of Knight of Navy. You'll have a piece of Knight of Navy to die cut your lighthouse. Now, I did do this in advance, right? But you will die cut yours out. And then you'll have a piece of pool party to die cut out this little label. And this is actually also in the bundle, which is really cool. So let's go ahead. We'll start with stamping, of course. Let me grab my foam mat. For some reason today, I'm very into this. I was filming my club video before this and I used my foam mat for everything. <laughs> I don't always use it with my photopolymer stamps because they don't all need it. If I'm using like a, a full image, I do like a solid image. I do always use my foam mat, but today we're just gonna use it for all of my photopolymer stamping because it just gives you a little bit of a better image. So, all right, there's that. Let me close this up and we don't need Night of Navy anymore. I might sneeze. excuse me <laughs> I can feel it coming but it wasn't I wasn't sure if it was going to <laughs> thanks Rita I love this color combo too isn't this oh I just it's such a nice color combo I do agree so thank you but it is also very much so inspired by this designer series paper which is just gorgeous if you ever need help with a color combo oh thank you <laughs> you're all saying bless you thank you so much um if you ever need color combo inspiration I definitely recommend checking out um, your designer series paper on the back hand or the back side of your paper pack it will always tell you what colors they used so all right going back in for liquid glue gonna have a lighter hand this time so that we don't squish it out and then grab your knight of navy strip again and we're gonna go ahead and lay that down across our piece here I just like that it breaks up a little bit but like the difference between the DSP and the soft succulent, it just, um, it's like a rough edge. And I really like that, even though this is still very distinct where it is, it just helps it to blend together a little bit better. So we will trim off our little tails. Oh, come here. Okay, we've got that. Let's go ahead. We'll add some seal to the back. And you know my rule with embossed pieces, we always add lots of adhesive. So we make sure everything sticks down. Extra adhesive is always better with our embossed pieces, okay? All right, so let's layer this under our card front. Gorgeous. We can go ahead and fold and burnish this. Whoops, there we go. Have your phone folder slip off if you want. <laughs> All right, so here, what we're going to do, I'm going to take my circle, flip it over, which it's really the same on both sides, so I don't know why I flipped it over, but whatever. Um, let's cut some dimensionals here and we are going to add these to our circle, peel off the backings and we will lay this down on our piece. Now on our first card, you know, we went center and then a little to the right. This time we're going over, I'm sorry, we went to the left on the first card. This one we're going to the right. So we are just going to lay that down right about here. Okay. Then we can take the sentiment. On the right hand side, we again are just going to do one dimensional. Let's cut these like this. So we'll do one dimensional on the right and we're going to stack two dimensionals on the left. Okay. So peel off that backing, stack another one on top and backings off. And then we'll go ahead and set this down right here. I am going to overlap on my Knight of Navy strip a little bit. Hey, April, welcome. So I'm going to overlap there just a little bit. Okay. So we've got that. And then we'll go ahead. Actually, we could probably use seal. I'll just add some seal here to kind of the center back of my lighthouse. 
and we will stick that down onto our basic white circle. How cute is that? And then we will finish this one off with some rustic metallic dots because I thought these ones looked real nice with this color scheme. So we'll add a big one and a little one right next to it. And there is card number two. You can see why this one's my favorite, right? <laughs> I know you haven't seen card number three yet, but you can always judge for yourself which one is your favorite. I really do love them all. I really love this set a lot. So, all right, let me take a quick drink. And let's go to card number three. This one is very pretty too. And this one, I really like the sentiment always here for you. I just thought that was so sweet. So, all right, let's do card number three. Pull out all of our kit pieces here. We've got a thick, basic white card base. Thank you guys so much. We've got a basic white layer. We've got a piece, whoa, I, that almost rolled off the table. <laughs> We've got a piece of soft succulent. Yeah, let me grab that before it falls. Um, again, you will cut your designer series paper. This piece has soft succulent, and actually I think that's evening evergreen in there, but it's such a small little amount that I did pair it with Knight of Navy, so shh. <laughs> um, and then the back side is Pale Papaya. I know, I have been always liking the second card, huh? I don't know. Lately, that's been my trend is it's always the second card. I really like this card a lot too. And I really like card number one too. It's just, I don't know. I'm leaning more towards card number two today. So, all right. Then you'll have a piece of vellum and you will have, actually, let me go here. You'll have a Knight of Navy scalloped circle die cut with the layering circle dies. You'll have a basic white circle die cut with the layering circle dies. And then you will have pieces of basic white and knight of navy to die cut out your lighthouse okay we're going to use this die this time and then you'll also have included in your kit a piece of the soft succulent open weave ribbon so let's start with stamping this one has very minimal stamping just like card number two because the die cuts are just so cool um i do love them all I do love them all equally. My mom loves Night of Navy. Yeah, me too. All right, so I am inking up always here for you in soft succulent ink. Stamp that down. But yeah, the die cuts in this bundle are just so cool. So of course I have to have to use them a lot. So <laughs> all right, let's take our designer series paper. I don't remember if I mentioned this already, but when you do order this week and get this week's class, um, the measurements will be in the PDF. So you'll know what to cut your paper at. Why am I like, there we go. That was weird. I was like missing a bunch of adhesive. I had to roll a lot. Oh, well. All right. Let's layer this on. It is running like butted up against the left and the right, a little margin on the top and the bottom. We'll go ahead and add seal to the back of the soft succulent piece and then get this layered onto our basic white piece. Again, it's going to go all the way to the side of the basic white piece. You can go ahead and center this like I am doing or you can make it lower or higher, whatever you like. Let's flip this over, add some seal to the back of our basic white piece and get this layered onto our card front. Okay, and fold and burnish. Ah, keep slipping off my bone, my bone folder. Okay, so we've got that. Let me grab my silicone craft mat here. There we go. Happy to report for those of you who came to bingo night um, a few weeks ago. I have not lost this. Remember, I, I like could not find this during bingo night. And I have had great successes finding it ever since. <laughs> All right. I am just adding some liquid glue being kind of light, light handed here on the back of my Knight of Navy piece. Just in case I pulled in my silicone craft mat because adhesive actually repels from this. So, um Oh, me too. Thanks, Alicia. Yeah, Alicia said she really likes the DSP paired with this bundle. I just think it works so well. It's like a soft, calming sea color, you know? Okay, so I was just real light-handed with my glue, and we'll just add on our detailed Knight of Navy lighthouse onto the basic white lighthouse here. Gorgeous, just like that. Okay, I can close up my glue, and let's real quick add on our little sentiment here. So I added some seal to the back of that and then we'll add that to our Knight of Navy scalloped. So we have a little, a cute little border on the outside there. Now with our vellum, remember with vellum, it's see-through, right? So wherever you put adhesive, it will be see-through. Sometimes we have specialty vellum that hides where you put your adhesive. 
sometimes we have regular vellum. We always have regular vellum. <laughs> so I, what I'm going to do here is I am going to cut some dimensionals, add these to my lighthouse, do one that way, and then we'll put one up here, peel off the backings, and then we're going to go ahead and put this right onto our vellum where we want it. It is going to peek off of the vellum. I did that intentionally because I think it looks cool. And then we're going to take this. Now, right here where my thumb is holding, I'm going to flip over and add some seal. Okay. Oh, come on. There we go. And then we're going to take our little soft succulent ribbon and we're going to do a cute little tail there. Okay. So we've got that added. So let's cut a couple more dimensionals. Oh, I already cut that one. All right, so I added a long piece here so I can go over my ribbon. And then we'll go here and actually I will add one more. I don't know why with circles I always have to do like three or like 12. <laughs> okay, so we've got those. Then we're gonna pick this up and we're gonna add this where we want it, which is like right about here. Okay, then we'll flip this over. Now we can see where our pieces are, right? And that's where we're going to put the dimensionals to hold up our card and i told you we were going to have just enough dimensionals to complete this card so now that sheet is done and we are just going to stick some dimensionals on the back here okay you can definitely use more than that i was determined to just use the rest of that sheet <laughs> hey robin welcome yes better late than never of course we always welcome you even if you have to be late we're just glad you're here. So, all right, we've got that added to our card and that's it. That's card number three. I did not do any embellishments on this card. You can absolutely add them if you'd like, but that is card number three. How fun is that one? Oh, Merry Christmas, Judy. Oh, so glad you got to hop on here too. So super duper cute. I don't know. I said number two is my favorite. This one is maybe my favorite. I love all of them. You know, I do. I have such a hard time picking. Because if I didn't like them, I wouldn't share them. <laughs> but there are all three cards. Oh, this one's my mom's favorite, she just said. So here are all three cards for this week's Lighthouse Point class to go. As a reminder, if you head to shop.stampwithmelissa.com, don't click on the screen. This is not a live link. You'll have to go in the description of this video. Whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, it does have the link. And the link actually does have the host code tied right into it. Um, so you don't even have to remember it, write it down or anything. Uh, you can just click right there. Um, use that host code when you're checking out. That lets me know you want this class. Uh, a $35 order in my online store before tax and shipping will get you two of each of these card kits. So all six card kits for free as a gift from me. A $50 order will also get you the quarter pack of DSP. I'm so distracted because the comments keep popping. So no, I'm not ignoring you. I'm well, I am ignoring you for a moment and I'll go back and read them in a second. So <laughs> um, and reminder for this week, normally I do cut your DSP for you this week. I am using the same pack of paper. So you will either need to add on the lovely and linen DSP to your order or you will want to order at the $50 level so you get a quarter pack from me for free so you can complete these week's cards like I instructed. As always, too, if you don't have the Lighthouse Point Bundle, make sure to add that to your order. Or, yeah, it is a squirrel moment, Lori, and of course I saw that comment. <laughs> um, make sure to add this to your order. Otherwise, you can absolutely swap it out for something else that you already own. Try to make the cards up using a different bundle. So. Okay, so let me go back, look at the comments real quick, just in case I missed something. Hi, Robin. Welcome. Oh, from down under. Thank you. Um, and Don. Oh, thanks, Don. Yes, they're very clean and simple this week. I love them. There's a lot of, even though these two aren't like white cards, right? There's a lot of white space. And I just think it, you, your eye knows exactly where to go. They're very nice and simple. So all right so happy holidays to everyone as a reminder i will not be live next week um because i'm gonna spend some time i actually do have to work my day job next tuesday but i am gonna spend the nights you know with my family and friends so um yeah i'm gonna enjoy some time off i will check in a little bit best way to reach me is always email that's where i go first to check my messages if you send me a facebook message like at a weird time of night like or day, whatever. I had somebody send one and I was like headed into church and uh, I got the Facebook message and then I forgot about it. 
for a few days because it doesn't show up very easy. So if you need something, please email me um, and I will get to you as soon as I can. I am working this week, so I'll be around. But yeah, happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I unless I do a surprise live next week, I will see you in two weeks. All right. In January. See you next year. Bye for now.